It's never a good look when a nation's health minister is shown dodging vaccinations for COVID-19. Supposedly showing Malaysian health minister, also the guy in charge of inoculating the entire country against COVID-19, Kyrie Jamaluddin having yet to to k a shot of any government-mandated vaccine. While we want directly point towards the accounts spreading the information, the posts uploaded included screenshots and videos showing Jamaluddin's status on the vaccinecovid.gov. My website, along with his IC and phone numbers. One of the posts that went viral. One clear screen grab showed that the minister still had his first dose of the vaccine pending, while other shots pulled data from official government sites like the Malaysian voter registration site, to confirm that the IC and mobile number used to check Jamaluddin's status were legitimate. Whether or not they are legitimate is still yet to be confirmed by official sources. Many of these accounts were adamant that the health minister had been hypocritical in rolling out the vaccine doses, along with the latest booster shots. Wiley himself had avoided taking any himself. A large number of comments on said posts were also equally as vehement in calling out the minister's supposed double standards. Some of these accounts have also been noted to be extremely vocal against implementing vaccines, perhaps to the point of being anti-vax. Some explaining to do. Seeing the situation steadily become more heated, Jamaluddin finally took to his Twitter account this afternoon to refute the claims, and insist that had actually already taken the first two doses of the vaccine alongside the recommended booster shot. Terdapit screenshot status vaccinasi saya daripada layman web vaccinshavid yang tular. Butiran tersebut tida tapat karana layman web ini tida laji octave. Dyke maskini sejak oct 2021. For the record, saya munarima dos 1 sinovac pada 18 thirds, dos 2 pada 8 quarters. Kyrie Jamaluddin, at K. Harry K. J., January 6, 2022. He also made sure to note that the website from which the screen grabs were taken was already out of commission, with all of its data outdated. Currently, the website displays a pop-up explaining its lack of updates due to 90% of Malaysia's adult population already being vaccinated. The pop-up that now appears to visitors on the Vaccine COVID website. There have been a number of screenshots of my vaccination status from the Vaccine COVID website that have gone viral, he tweeted. These details are inaccurate. Because this website hasn't been active nor updated since October 2021. For the record, I received my first Sinovac dose on March 18, 2021, the second dose on April 8, 2021, and the Pfizer booster in September. On his Instagram stories, Jamaluddin took the opportunity to remind everyone that had even already taken the vaccine as well as the booster, along with photos as proof. Image. At K. Harry K. J. on Instagram. To clear things up, he also mentioned that the Vaccine COVID website should no longer be relied upon for up-to-date information, and was only used during the early stages of the vaccination rollout to help members of the public check on their vaccination appointments. Vaccination program. While his posts on social media will hopefully clear the confusion surrounding his vaccination status, there's no doubt that certain groups will still claim that the health minister's words are nothing more than a cover-up, as evidenced by quite a few comments still being made by netizens. Either way, this issue could probably have been prevented by taking down or restricting access to inactive websites and providing clear channels of communication. Regarding the vaccination rollout in the country, especially with the demand for data and transparency at a high. Right now, Malaysians can get access to COVID-19 vaccination statistics in the country via the COVIDNOW website, and can rely on the MySagitera app for updates and their vaccination appointments and contact tracing status. Further information regarding COVID-19 vaccines in Malaysia can also be found on the official Health Ministry website. Read more life stories. Pope calls couples who choose to have pets instead of children selfish. 6.1 million Malaysians might be poor when they retire. New Ihu variant appears before we're even done worrying about Omicron. Cover image sourced from the Straits Times.